Uh, so, uh, who are more likely to improve these conditions, Crystal? The Democrats in Congress or the Republicans in Congress? According to those polled by CNN? Yes. I would probably, unfortunately, say that those polled would say that the uh, policies of the Republicans in Congress. I would, I would have said this. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you're totally right. You win this tote bag. This guy, Woo! I, 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 I accept this with all of the uh, all do sadness for all, all of us <laughs> you know for, for, for the uh, com coming elections. Well, I just want to put it out there. Please, it. everybody, yeah. go out there, get your uh, get, get registered to vote. Yeah, get your vote on. If there's still time, I there's still time to register. And I don't know. I'm very informed. Wait, vote Green Party because you know what? Both parties are in bed together. They, they, you know. Yeah, I'll vote for Green Party. Mel Packer, we Mel Packer. Mel Packer was on the show. Mel, Mel Packer was the one had a seizure and saved my ass. Vote, vote Mel Packer. He's wearing a Hawaiian shirt. October seventh. Green Party meeting, go there. Neither the Democrats nor the Republicans are going to get you out of this mess. They're just going to dig in deeper. Yeah. In case you know wow. You, you, read my, you read my index cards? Because you just segued the shit out of my segue. That was awesome. <laughs> that's not that's really, that's where I was going with it. And it you, you put a very eloquent one. All right. So I'm going to flip this page. Uh, this, you know what? Those fingerless gloves, they dry out. Where's the, uh, where's the next question? How these get stuck together, Marianne? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Because I didn't prepare. Oh, <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, Marianne. Mar Marianne, you always were very prepared. All right. Which of the following is the most important issue facing the country today? You don't have to be unemployed for this one. You just have to be the person who's sitting in the brown chair. Who is sitting in? There's a one brown chair in this whole place. Second Some row. Second from. Left. Someone's sitting in a brown chair. All you have to do is look at your chair and it's brown. That's you. So who is it? Raise your hand. Oh my god, it's hey. head, headband girl. Yeah. It's headband girl. <laughs> <laughs> what's, your, what, what's your real name, headband girl? Carrie. Carrie. Woo! Yay! 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 for Carrie and people named Carrie. <laughs> All right. Which of the following is the most important issue facing the country today? Uh, the economy, the federal budget deficit, education, health care, the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, illegal immigration, terrorism, energy and environmental policies, or no opinion at all? <laughs> you have no opinion. What's that? The economy. She nailed it. What do you win? Oh, you win a t-shirt. <laughs> Type of deal. Yeah, I love that. I borrow these chairs from English Funeral Home. I have connections with those people. And they only gave me one brown chair. So, so there you are. English Funeral Home t shirt for you. I don't know if it's your size or not. You can do with the big rags out of it. I don't really, we don't really get along. Alright, so. Oh, um, well, here's a good one. Alright, uh, who else is unemployed? It was Jeffrey, right? Poor bastard. Woo! Okay. Well, uh, thinking specifically about the economy, which of the following is the most important economic issue facing the country today, Jeffrey? Is it unemployment? Is it the federal budget deficit? Taxes? Mortgages and housing costs? Inflation? The stock market? Or dick cream? It's based on CNN poll, right? But you were wrong. It's 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 unemployment. It's the unemployment show. I mean, it's it doesn't matter, man, because all you're going to win was this patch, and I'm going to give it to you anyway. Yeah, it's a patch. You can put it on. Yeah. Okay. And this is this just looks really boring. So I'm not going to do it. So Crystal hit the nail on the head. Uh, what this means to me uh, is that it's a fr it's a frightening that we actually uh, have a better chance of putting some of these Tea Party people, the Tea Bag people, in office than I realized. And uh, so yeah, I, I back up. Crystal said it much better than I did. I back up the idea that you need to register to vote. 
and uh, whoever you're gonna vote for, whatever whatever your take is, Bill uh, Yeah, yeah, go out and vote. I'm gonna vote for. That's the truth, man. I'm voting for Sestak, the hunky guy. He sounds like someone I grew up with in yeah. Pittsburgh, and uh, I think you should get out and vote for Sestak. So who's his, who's the arch enemy? To me, don't vote for him. Vote for, for Sestak. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, which Tea Party candidate are you gonna vote for? Isn't Palin the only candidate? Uh, what is is Palin running for something right now? She's she's old. I don't know, but yeah, it must be something. Right running to shoot bears. Yeah, she's yeah. She's running for. She's running must for be something. Boxes. Vice Vice Chancellor of Moose like, Knuckles. Like like um Mayor of Pennsylvania, right? Oh my. Okay. Well, we're gonna get on to that because politics make people uncomfortable. You people look uncomfortable. And we're going to move on to uh, the unemployment show Media Club. It's a new thing. I have started working at a, a book warehouse where I pick up heavy things and move them. And those heavy things are books, lots of books. <laughs> and, um, yeah, and uh, the guy who uh, supervises our book touchers <laughs> now, now and again lets me borrow awesome books. That's what we'll call it. And I get some, some of his books... We have different types of, it's the unemployment media club, you know, like Oprah's book club, but we surpass her and that it's not just books, it's, it's DVDs, it's undershirts, it's bow ties, <laughs> all sorts of, all sorts of different. All right, this one is fantastic. This is, I, re I highly recommend it, The Hikers and Backpackers Guide for Treating Medical Emergencies. It seems pretty straight up, but when you look at the cover, and I'm going to pass it around, does it look like a medical emergency? It's a man on a branch surrounded by about 14 alligators. <laughs> How incredible is that? Have you ever been in a medical emergency like that? We grew up in the same woods in Verona. Remember all the alligators trying to get us? You got something to say? Oh yeah, talk into the microphone. Remember the alligator problem we had back in 82? I remember. Bastards. Here, pass that around. Let people look at that. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't want to interrupt, Dave. Interrupt, but, please. Um, say things. In, in the degree of the alligators, the zombie opera that will be opening at the Gray Box Theater. Wow, that's it was a smooth transition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right around October, October 20th. So wait, are, uh, are, are, yeah, are if, if you don't like alligators, from, you'll like zombies yeah. even less. It's like Pandora's. It's like yeah. they get the genome product over here. Uh, <laughs> if you like alligators, you might also like. Uh, you know, no, you might shots. like <laughs> zombies even less. Zombies even less than alligators? That's what I'm trying to oh, say. Oh, yeah, I couldn't find a copy of goddamn Jazzy Jars as much as I look. But the problem is, you know, everyone who works there is a stoner, dude. That's why we couldn't find it. Uh, I don't know. All I'm going to say is zombie opera. Zombie opera. Zombie fucking opera. Somebody Amazing. here is going to submit to your will, I feel sure. Do you feel what I feel? Let's check out this next one. All right. This is, I'm re-gifting this. Somebody here gave me this, and now I'm going to, I, I don't know if I have anyone, this is a gift, let anyone take this. This actually may be considered uh, like harassment or something indecent. It's the Poverty Neck Hillbillies and Ben Roethlisberger. <laughs> <laughs> um, making, making the video for a song called Mr. Right Now. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Right now, and uh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get Mr. Terza. I believe he's in the bathroom. Right? Congratulations, yeah. The only yeah, the only problem is uh, my DVD player's in the bathroom. Um, I might have to fight you for that, um, just so you know after. Do you want to fight for that? Did you, wanna... you want to go down by the fire pit? Oh, no. Oh shit. Right, I'll see you there. It's getting to be it's that way. Yeah, it's, it's Mr. It's right now. right now. No, no, seriously, the ecstasy's kicking in right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I got, like, I got an undercover cop watching the door. This shit's going down.